Hello everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do another fun art project with you today. Um, we are going to create this really fun watercolor cherry blossom tree. And as you can see, I love this one so much, I put it in a frame and it's actually hanging on my wall. So I'm gonna show you how you can create this simple tree today with your watercolors. So what you need first is a piece of watercolor paper or mixed media paper. Those two, one of those would work the best for this project. A paintbrush, I'm using a round paintbrush. It's probably, uh, a size, I think it's a size six round paintbrush, but mine has a nice pointy tip on the end so I can make some really small lines if I need to. Um, a cup of water and my watercolor paints and some paper towel. That is all we need to make this project. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to get our paper in front of us in portrait direction. And we are gonna start by doing a little bit of wet on wet technique. So we wanna go ahead and just get some um, well, actually, let's open our paints first because we need to put a little water in our paint. So I want you to put a little water in your red paint just to start it working. So I'm dropping some water in my red paint. Then I'm going to clean my brush, make sure there's no red paint on it. And then I'm just going to get some water on it. And I'm just going to paint an organic spot of water. And what I mean by organic is it has, I'm creating the shape. It doesn't have a name, it's just an organic shape. So it kind of looks like maybe a little cloud shape almost. Just a little spot. Um, I'm doing just a spot at a time because my the air here is really dry and I don't want that uh, water to dry up before I can get to it. So that's why we do a little spot at a time. And then I'm just gonna get a little tiny bit of paint on my paintbrush, just a little bit at the very end, and I'm gonna put it in my water, and I'm gonna get just a bit more. So what happens is even though I'm using red, I'm not using a lot of red. I'm using just a little bit, and because I have more water than paint, my red paint actually looks pink, and so, I'm gonna just add one tiny drop at a time. We want it kind of light right now. We will be adding some more layers later, but that's a nice base pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more water on my brush and make another little organic shape kind of next to that. It's okay if they're touching. Um, it is okay if you have a little bit of white space showing in between your spots, that is okay. So we're gonna add some branches later. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna dip my brush in and barely touch it to the water. And kind of help push it around a little bit, maybe a bit more. There we go. Kind of push that around. There, that's looking cool. So I'm gonna do this until I, my tree looks like I want it to look. So I'm gonna put another little section here. Add some more, a little bit of paint. Now, if you find you've added yours is really, really dark red, go ahead and just blot it with a paper towel you can add a little more water to it. I just drop some water on there, um, maybe spread it around a little bit or blot it with the paper towel to soak up some of that. And that will remove a little bit of the color for you. So I'm gonna go ahead. You can create your, your tree however you like. Just remember to kind of make it organic. You don't wanna look, make it look like anything in particular. Just kind of a random organic Shape. See how I have a little bit of white paper showing through? That is perfectly fine to do that. And you'll see why when we create our branches of our tree. 
All right, I'm gonna add a little more to the top here because I wanna save plenty of room down here for the trunk of my tree. So I'm gonna go up higher for more of my tree up here. Add a little more. See, and I'm rinsing my, the rest of the paint off my brush because I didn't wanna to get too much red there. So before I added more, spread it around, I rinsed my brush a little bit. Do another little spot right there. There we go, rinse my brush. Just want to get too much paint. I kind of like that look. I feel like I want a little more just on this side, maybe. You can kind of play with it a little bit and add some more spots to your tree. I think I'm going to add just a little bit down here. Kind of make that spread out just a little bit. great looking tree. Every time I do this project, my tree turns out a little bit different. It's kind of cool. So I'm just doing random organic shapes. All right. So I like my tree just like that. I don't think I'm going to add any more to it. And I'm going to take my, I have a couple paper towels here. So I'm going to take one and I'm going to kind of squish it up and I'm just going to blot some of my water. Don't worry if it takes a little bit of your paint off. We'll be adding some more paint after we do the trunk of our tree so we can add some more paint back in there. But we just want it to be kind of dry. We don't want a lot of water sitting on our paper because that's going to make our trunk of our tree kind of run a little bit and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to just soak up some of that water there. All right. Perfect. I know it's a little bit hard to see in the video, but we'll be adding some more uh, color to it after we're done with that trunk. So now we're going to use our black paint. So I'm going to drop some water in my black paint so I can start using that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put water on my can on my paper first this time. I'm just going to make sure my brush is wet, wipe off the extra water, dip it in my paint, just a little bit of paint on my brush. And I'm going to start, let's see, I think I'll start with the branch. I'm just going to kind of draw the trunk and some roots down here. This is where you can make it look however you would like. Every tree is a little different. Even if they're the same tree, they sometimes can have a little bit different look. So you're just gonna draw with your brush, the tip of your brush. Draw that, lightly draw that line. And you can see that I'm not worried about how straight my line is or anything. I'm just gonna make sure that it's, it's kind of, organic like a tree. So those are two roots of my tree. I might add a couple more roots pointing down just a little bit to kind of show it's in front of the tree. There we go. And then I have one more right there. Just like that. I kind of like that look, how that looks. Add a little more black in there. You can add a little more black along the bottom. So when you're doing this, you definitely want to have some light and dark areas. That's going to help give it some texture and kind of show maybe where some shadow shadows are on your tree. And then once you've got it drawn in, you can kind of start filling it in. Just always with a little bit of paint. You don't want to start with a whole lot of paint. You want to start with a little bit because you can always add to it easier than taking away from it. 
and I'm doing it real thin because I kind of want it to have some light areas and it's going to have some darker areas which gives it a little bit of a realistic look so I definitely want to create that in my tree have this branch go over here and then I might make another branch go up the center here here I'll make some add a little dark area right there Put a little more water on my brush so when you add water that's going to lighten up if you've got a place that's too dark you could just add a little water and that's going to lighten it up a little bit with your brush. Now just remember to hold your brush kind of like a pencil close to the hair because you're going to be able to control it. If you hold it way out here, you can't control where your brush is going very well. So you definitely want to make sure you have good control over your brush. This will help it help you be able to tell it where to go on the paper. There we go. I'm going to add just a little bit of dark right here because I want that to look like kind of where the root goes in there and it makes a little sunken area in the tree. Same here. Right along the bottom. Might make some lines in the tree just to give it some texture like bark. That's a good idea too. This one, I'm liking this tree. I like how that looks. And then right where, kind of a little darker where it's gonna be underneath your leaves, your beautiful pink leaves that you're gonna have. All right, so. All right, I'm gonna kind of blend that in a little bit, I think. Just with some, just with a wet brush, just rubbing that area just really gently. I don't want to scrub my paper and end up with a hole in my paper, so just gently. All right, so. By now, since we've been working on the trunk for a little bit, by now this should be pretty good and dry. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue making some branches. And if you notice on my original, you can see some of the branches peeking through some of those open places of your tree. So um, this is where you can take a little bit of black and you can just start making some branches and you're only going to see a little bit some pieces of the branches because they're hidden in the trees and that is okay this side goes up this way and we might see a little bit of it peeking through right there and then the rest of that branch may come up here Make some little lines up there. Right up to that tree there. And let's see, we've got a few other places we can add some branches. Let me darken this up just a little bit. We can add a little branch maybe here. Going up, maybe we'll see it going up this way. Even crossing over and meeting up with that branch. That'll be cool. So you can kind of have fun with that. Kind of, you get to decide where you're going to put the little branches. So it's kind of fun. There's no wrong place, really. I've seen trees with all different kinds of branches. Right up here. Let's 
some parts you may see more than others. And other parts you may not see very much at all. There we go. I'm liking that. So we've got a tree that's looking pretty cool. So I'm going to clean my brush really well. And this last step to finish our tree, we need to add some more pink to our leaves so that we have a good light and dark area on our tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put some water in our paint, swirl our brush in there really well, and we're going to add some paint to the cover of our paints. You can add some red paint in there. And then we're going to add some water. I want you to put some water in with that. And so we're going to make a little bit of a darker pink color, mixing it in our, ooh, I like that. So we want, we don't want it to be red, red. We want it to be a little bit pink looking. And there I have a really nice dark pink. I don't know if you can see it, the light's right there. The light was reflecting it off a little bit. So then I'm going to clean my brush. And with a clean brush, I'm going to just, I'm not going to add water this time. We're done. We're not going to put any water. It's not going to be a wet and wet. We're just going to dip it in the paint that we just mixed. And we're going to start adding some dark areas on top of our lighter areas. So I'm imagining that the, the darker areas would be kind of underneath because the light is shining from above. So I'm just going to add in some dark areas. Now we're, I'm just kind of randomly putting in some dark areas. I don't have to fill an area in completely. And I want to be careful over my branches because if I get too close to the black, it may run a little bit. So I just want to be really careful of that. So I might add a little bit of paint kind of in those darker areas here. There we go. And a little bit here. Especially lower on my tree. That's where I'm going to have the most dark areas are going to be. You, to make something look a little more realistic, you want to have, those are called values, those light and dark areas. And you definitely want to have some good values. Now, if you have a stark, see I have really light and really dark and kind of a line there. I'm just going to take a clean brush and kind of go over that line. So it kind of blends in just a little bit better. So I don't have, a, I might leave some areas, that little line showing just a bit, but some of the areas I don't want that. So I'm going to blend it a little bit. And just kind of blend it into my background. Oh, that's looking good. So I'm going to continue this on my tree. being really careful not to hit my branches. If you do, you can take a paper towel and kind of soak that up a little bit if it's blot it with your paper towel if you got too close to your black uh, branches there. They could run just a little bit. There, and see, look at how I have some medium, really light areas, some medium areas, some dark areas. I love it. It looks awesome. Love those values. And don't worry if you don't get it right away. This takes a little bit of practice. And so with art, it's always about learning a technique and then practice. Treating your tree how you want your tree to look. There, just a little bit more and we'll be almost finished. I'm almost finished with this beautiful cherry blossom tree. 
Don't you love how you can take red paint and just add some water to it and then it looks pink? I think that's so fun when you can do that with watercolors. Or gray, we made our black look kind of gray. So that's really cool. A little bit of dark at the top, not as much. Lighten that up with a little bit of water. All right, just about finished here. It's looking awesome. Now look at it over and you can see if you want any more lighter dark areas, you can actually mix a little more paint if you want. And you could do another layer. You can layer it again just a little bit, creating just a little more dark. If you feel like you need a little more value there, you can add a little more some dark areas on the on some of that. I'm gonna use up the rest of this here. Just adding a little bit more dark. Oh, it looks awesome. I love cherry blossom trees. They look so beautiful when they're all in bloom. They're so beautiful, pink flowers. Well, there you have it. A beautiful cherry blossom tree with created with watercolor. Thank you so much for joining me for this really fun project. I hope you had a good time. Uh, feel free to send me a picture of your finished project. I would love to see your cherry blossom tree. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.